Palau is a diver's paradise. And if you ever wonder why you'd travel to the other side of the world to check it out, think about swimming with 21 million jellyfish without getting one sting. A trip to Palau in Micronesia is a trip of a lifetime for a lot of reasons. Located 500 miles east of the Philippines, Palau has been gifted with some awesome natural wonders, many of them under sea. People come for the water sports in general, but discover a lot more along the way. Palau routinely ranks in the top 10 of the world's best diving destinations. And it's not only because of the beauty and diversity of what you can see under sea, but also because of what you can see of the wrecks that were left because of World War II. There are a number of tour operators that offer day trips from Karor, complete with drivers, guides, and all the equipment you could ever want to play with. Whether you're diving, snorkeling, kayaking, or just interested in checking out the islands, there are professional and dependable outfitters on the island to meet your needs. An archipelago is surrounded by a fringe reef. Palau's waters are packed with a great diversity of marine life. Grab your tanks and go with a guide that lives and breathes these islands will tell you about their unique history and also take you to coves and inlets where they know you'll be able to see something amazing that day. Ones you might not be able to find if left to your own devices. Exploring the World War II wrecks of Palau is seeing history from a different perspective. On March 30th and 31st, 1944, the U.S. Navy air-raided Palau during Operation Desecrate One, sending more than 60 Japanese ships to the bottom of the Tranquil Lagoon. Today, more than 30 wrecks are available for divers to explore. The rock formations themselves are fascinating to discover. Uh, when these islands were formed, um, Palau is sitting on top of two different plates. There's a Philippine plate and Pacific plate on one side. At one point in time, about like 37, 36 million years ago, those two plates had an earthquake, and one went underneath the other one. When it went underneath the other one, it robs the bottom of the plate, and creates what we call the hot spot. <laughs> Just right, actually. The rock islands make wild backdrops, but another unique aspect to Palau's waterscape is the claim that the Fountain of Youth is found here. So this is called Milky Way, uh, this area. It, uh, and what they can do, they do exfoliating. Take the, uh, it's a calcium carbonate inside this uh, uh, sand. It's great from uh, humic acids, Morgon. And they call it the Fountain of Youth? The Fountain of Youth. And make you younger. So I, that's why you can see. I'm rubbing at my face right now. Make me younger. <laughs> Looking good. The marine life is exquisite. An astonishing spectrum of undersea critters that can be seen by snorkeling or diving, or even visiting the local aquarium that houses a terrific cross-section. Jellyfish Lake is truly one of the natural wonders of the world. You get there by hiking a short while to a dock where you don your snorkeling gear and go for the most peaceful float, once you get past your initial fear. Due to geological activity, the jellyfish have been separated from any predators for millions of years and have lost their ability to sting, making them miracles of evolution. So Palau is very old. We're older than Hawaii, about 70 million years older than Hawaii, based on the geology. Uh, we create from the two plates, uh, Philippine plates and Pacific plates. Lift this whole rock islands right now. There's a tree erosion happening to this rock island. That's why they shape like mushrooms. Palau is a friendly country that welcomes all visitors enthusiastically, so remember to come up out of the ocean and say hello.